Are you tracking to be set by the time you retire? Good evening, folks, and welcome back to another episode of Silver Dad Knows. Remember, always live with no edits. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button now as you're gonna like what I'm about to say. Just to begin, I will be presenting one of my uh, favorite pieces and I have not mentioned this piece for some time, but here we have a 1922 peace dollar. The peace dollar emerged in the wake of World War I and was America's last silver dollar struck for circulation. These early 1922 Philadelphia Mint issues introduced the modified relief engravings that became the standard for the series, which ended just 13 years later in 1935. These pieces were the result of a competition to find design, uh, designs emblematic of peace. Its, its obverse represents the head and neck of the goddess of liberty in profile, and the reverse, a bald eagle at rest, clutching an olive branch with the legend, Peace. A peace dollar from 1922 in circulated condition is worth between $35 and $44. However, on the open market, 1922 silver dollars in pristine, uncirculated condition sell for as much as $40,000. So a buddy of mine who I sell to often, he um, is always getting these for around $33, $34. And that is just incredible pricing. So if you can get them right now for $33, $34 with free shipping or in person, you're getting um, just a spectacular deal, assuming that, of course, you are getting real silver. And I recommend always do it in person. And if you're buying it online, let it be somebody who you've done business with a number of times and who has an upstanding reputation. Um, real quick, guys, before I continue, I want to give a quick shout out, and this is to Veritas Files, and there's a comment from last night. I am always adding resiliency and redundancy to my life in one way or another. It might be by purchasing additional canned meats, freeze-dried food, everyday use items, gas cards on grocery cards loaded with hundreds of dollars, uh, ammunition, a new firearm, or some other new preparedness tool. The point is that it's not an occasional thing with me. I have a plan to add to my preparedness every single time I get additional funds. If money happens to come in that I'm not expecting, I already have a plan for where the money will go. That's the point though. Make it a constant and consistent behavior to do something, anything, to further prepare yourself every single time you have additional wealth that can be employed. Great video as always, keep stacking. Ooh, I love that additional wealth that can be employed. There you have it, folks, Veritas Files. And I could not agree with more because I do the same thing, you know, whether it be stacking bullets, stacking water, stacking canned food, stacking silver, stacking crypto, stacking physical fiat currency, even though it's fake, just to have it on hand. And then stacking points, of course, on my American Express. I mean, stack, stack it, guys. If you don't need it, stack it. And chances are you don't need it. Um, eat at home. Don't eat out. You don't need the materialistic things. And I know that's funny coming from me. I have a Rolex and a Panerai. But at the end of the day, I can also sell these things at any given time and get my money's worth. A lot of materialistic stuff you can't. Most materialistic things you can't, like a Louis Vuitton purse and the majority of watch brands. I just happen to have two that are, the, that are part of the uh, small group that actually retains value. Um... But more notably, people now in America are voting in their own interests. And that's the problem with voting. That's the problem with democracy. The founding fathers knew that all too well over two centuries ago. That's why America was created as a republic. And that's why initially there were all sorts of limits on who could vote. They didn't want everybody voting because they knew what it would lead to by default. Nonsense. That's why they say democracies are as violent in their deaths as they are in their births, because they vote themselves into bankruptcy. That's exactly what we've done. 
we have the government that we voted for, a reckless and irresponsible uh, government that robs from most people and gives to those who vote for them. That's why we're teetering on the brink of an economic meltdown. You can thank generations uh, for this type of political practice. Look at our history. The average length between the initial rate hike and the onset of a recession is around 27 months. If you look at what's taken place with the market these last couple of years, you'll notice that we're around 24 months. For those to say we haven't had a recession yet or that we've escaped one are not looking at history properly. The Social Security Administration itself said that by 2034, it won't be able to pay people their full benefits. The Social Security Fund here in the United States is running out of money and have already stated that if changes are not made by 2034, they will be left with no choice but to cut payments. Humanity has changed over the last 120 years. So must our conception of retirement. Larry Fink. Silver stackers and crypto investors put their hard-earned money elsewhere because they don't want to rely on anybody else. They don't want to rely on the government or social security checks, and especially BlackRock to fund their retirement. Rely on your assets, physical assets. Have complete control over how you fund your retirement. Have complete control over how you spend your money. Have complete control over how you access your money. Control your destiny. But you missed you must build off your financial education to make that possible. Silver is the best investment and the trade of a generation. So let us not forget. Of course, I have a uh, silver buffalo round right here. And these are actually pieces that I encourage every serious uh, silver stacker to own in great quantities. Because the beauty about these is if you know how you're buying them, you can always get them close to spot price or at spot price. And you can always resell them at spot price for more. So they're always profitable. This is just silver right here. You want to get silver for your bucks worth? Here you have it. Uh, these one ounce silver round buffaloes are bullion pieces made of one tri ounce of silver featuring the design of, American, of an American buffalo, also known as a bison. The design on the round is inspired by the buffalo nickel, a five cent uh, coin that was minted from 1913 to 1938 in the United States. Currently, I'm seeing these as low as $33, $34, $35 tops with free shipping. And with the way silver is, I mean, that is just excellent. So over here, I believe I should have, you know, one of those, oh, here we go. Buffalo nickels. What year is this one? Boom, 1936. So yes, this is the uh, the origins of where these rounds come from. You know, where these rounds were inspired from. So another nice thing about these is, yes, you know, it's beautiful. These American Eagles, the Krugerins, um, Philharmonics, Maple Leafs, uh, the Libertads, you know, those are all coming from specific mints. These um, buffalo rounds, they do not. They come from private mints, a variety of them, who all do a similar uh, design. Of course, they're mimicking the buffalo nickel, but it's their version of the buffalo nickel, all looking, you know, almost identical, but still it's, it's their own version. And the beauty about them is, yes, you can always buy them close to spot, or right at spot, and you can always sell them for spot or more, so they're always profitable. You're always getting your silver content. So uh, I see some people here sometimes mocking, you know, ah, you know, silver this, silver that. Okay, I get it. Those you don't lose money on. I get it. You lose, oh, collectors this, collectors, I don't believe in it. Okay, you don't believe in that. This is a silver you want to be getting your hands on. But guys, as always, uh, thank you so much for joining us for another evening. Remember, you go to my description, you'll see my eBay link, Silver Dad Knows. You hit me up. Hey, Silver Dad, I'm a subscriber. Um, I'm a patriot. And I will sell you any of my coins at your choosing at my cost. I will hook you up. You just let me know. But as always, guys, God bless you.
God bless your households. And as long as I can say it, God bless America.